Today we're going to talk about a very important piece of safety equipment. We're going to be taking a look at some Ear Pro. Coming up next. What's up crew? Welcome back to the channel and today we're going to talk a little bit about Ear Pro. Specifically we're going to be talking about the Radians R3200. Uh, it says hear your surroundings with electronic amplification. Uh, this being the dual means it has two microphones, one in each side. It automatically reduces level of amplification to allow for protection against impulse noises. And it works really well. You can get close to them. You can snap your fingers even and they'll cut out. includes auxiliary input jack and patch cable for smartphone or digital audio player, meaning that they work sort of like headphones as well, if that's your cup of tea. And finally, the LED on indicator uh, helps to prevent accidental depletion of batteries. Now the design is pretty basic. They work just about like uh, any other over-the-ear protection. They flip out, they extend. These being electronic, they've got the on-off volume control right here as well as that headphone jack we were talking about. Now one thing I'm not a fan of necessarily with these is how the batteries go in. You'll see Inside here we've got a little flap, and there is where our batteries are located. Uh, I would have much rather seen some type of a, a door design there, rather than a little flap of foam. Uh, I don't like the idea of the batteries being exposed to potential moisture, sweat, things like that. Uh, being said, ain't had a problem, so they seem to be working out fine. Here you've got your dual microphone setup. You've got the LED indicator that was mentioned earlier. And a feature that I really like on these, you've got a lower profile cutaway design. Now you may not be able to tell it, but if you look, you can see that this piece on the, I guess that's the head strap or whatever, is a little bit faded. And if we can open these up and uh, take a look at the screws inside here, you can tell they're a little bit rusted. Now the reason for that is that after I had this Ear Pro about, I guess about three weeks, right? Um, I lost them. Having a range here at the house sometimes can be a curse because I carry a lot of my equipment and apparently I had dropped them. Uh, they were in the grass. Now during that three week time frame that I was looking for them, couldn't find them, was wondering what I had did with them, it rained. And when I say it rained, I'm talking about an apocalyptic flood. It rained multiple days all day. Now, after a few weeks of not having my ear probe, I lucked out, stumbled across them one day, and my first thought was, these are trash. This is a 30 something dollar set of electronic ear pro. They've been out in the rain, uh, days of rain now. So I pick them up, bring them in the house, look them over. The whole time I'm thinking, no way these are going to work. Pull the old batteries out. Interesting story about those. Prior to losing these, uh, I did turn them on, hung them on a hook in our living room with a TV going. It pretty much goes 24-7. So these things had held up as far as battery life for 48 hours straight plus another three weeks worth of range time. But back to the story on losing them. I uh, took the old batteries out. I knew they had been there in there at least three weeks. They'd had a lot of use. Thought, well, let me put some fresh batteries in, turn them on, see what happens. I put fresh batteries in these things, turned them on, and lo and behold, they worked flawlessly, and they have worked flawlessly ever since. Well, that's a testament on how they should be able to hold up under most circumstances, and a testament to what kind of battery life you may be able to expect from this pair of electronic ear pro. So there you go, crew. There's a little review as well as a and a hopefully interesting story anyway of my experience with the Radiance R3200 Dual Electronic Ear Pro. I want to take a minute here at the end of the video to do something that I've never done before but I probably need to start doing a little more often. And that is to invite everybody to go check out the shirt store over on Clovertac.com. Let's go to Clovertac.com, scroll down, you'll see a link for the shirt store and there's all kinds of cool designs in there for you to look through and hopefully purchase. Remember that any of your purchases do help support the channel. Well, thank you for watching. Till next time, don't forget to chain fire freedom. <laughs>